So the first YouTube video I ever made for this channel was a video of me making a coffee table. I built this table for my first apartment in Seattle and ever since I moved into this city, I no longer had access to a wood shop, which means I haven't built a piece of furniture in almost three years now. But that's gonna change today because Tina from Creality sent me a CR30. <laughs> Now the beauty about this 3D printer is the fact that it actually prints on a conveyor belt. That means it's really complicated and hard to use, but it's really good for two things. One, it's really good for bulk printing. This thing can print parts for you non-stop. And number two, well... So my last apartment came with an air conditioner port, which I also used for exhausting the fumes for my resin 3D printer. My new apartment doesn't have it. So the first thing I made on the CR30 was this thing. So this thing actually turned out surprisingly straight and actually fairly strong too. And what it is, is it's an extender for this adapter. And now I have an air conditioner port. So a year ago, I would have never imagined that I can 3D print something this big or that I would even want to. But with this 3D printer, it just made it so easy. Granted, that did take four days to print, which is a bit of a pain, but I ended up replacing the stock 0.4 millimeter nozzle with a 0.8. So now I can easily half that time. So if all of this is possible now, I should be able to design and make furniture again without a wood shop, right? This happens so many times. Like I said, this is definitely a trickier printer to use, but after tweaking some settings, one leg ended up taking 11 hours to print. The conveyor belt left marks on the prints and some of them had signs of layer shifts, but they're good enough. So now I just need to cut off the brims. So that's pretty much everything for the legs. Now I just need a tabletop. I thought it would be hard to find tabletops in the city, but it turned out I just wasn't looking in the right places. It's pretty easy to find cutting boards or serving boards that can easily be used as a tabletop. But I ended up using this project panel from Lowe's. It's a lot larger, thicker, and it was only $10. So I didn't spend that much time on the design of this thing. It's really similar to other side tables you can buy out there. And the problem with this design is the fact that it kind of looks like a small stool. And since it's in the living room, that means at some point, someone is gonna accidentally sit on this thing. And when that inevitably happens, well, the question is,
Okay, wow. So keep in mind, the legs had a skin thickness of 2.4 millimeters, but only 15% infill. So I'm pretty impressed. Granted, I do only weigh around 140 pounds, so. Hey, and this is why the CR30 is a huge game changer for me. I know this is just a side table, but the point here is the fact that this 3D printer allows me to print large scale projects. I would have needed a whole wood shop to make these things before, but now I can easily do it from home with a 3D printer that fits on my dining table. Now, thank you to Tina from Creality for sending me the CR30 and huge shout out to all the awesome people out there supporting my channel through donations. Thank you to Eric Tweet, Nyka Rivera, Dean Bailey, Brandon Shores, ArturDesign.ca, The Unger Zone, Sharon Anglin, and John Strickland. Thank you all so much for supporting this channel and uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.